Hello everyone, welcome back to Decorating with Barbara. In today's video, I would like to share with you guys how I embellish store-bought curtains or drop cloth curtains. So if you're interested, keep watching. Okay guys, so here is my drop cloth curtain. And yes, it's too short. So my idea was to lengthen the curtain by adding fabric. So I picked up these curtain panels from Marshall. So before I cut the drapes, I wanted to be sure that I didn't like the gray and white as the top portion instead of the drop cloth. So when I put them up to the window, surprisingly, I liked the gray and white. Because at first, when I bought them, I really didn't like that pattern. But when I put it in the room, they just added so much brightness to the room that I decided to use the gray and white as the top portion as opposed to the drop cloth. Now, I still will use the drop cloth, but I'm going to put it on the bottom. And I'll show you how I do that as well as how I embellish it. So stay tuned. Now I have both pieces sewn together and as you can see I use more of the curtain panel and less of the drop cloth. I only have about a foot and a half on the bottom for the drop cloth but you can use it any way you want that fits your situation. If you want to use more drop cloth and less of a curtain panel or extra fabric uh, you can do it that way just as long as your measurements add up to the length um, that you need for your window. Okay, so now that I have it sewn together, we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you how I'm going to embellish it. Okay guys, now as far as the embellishment, um, I will be using um, a beaded ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby from the uh, floral section and this uh, ribbon was $7.99 and I got it half price during the week that uh, ribbons were 50% off and I'm going to apply it with some fabric glue that I got from the sewing department and um, this was also from Hobby Lobby and the price is $4.99 and I used my 40% off coupon. Okay, so. Okay guys, I have the ribbon glued down and um, I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry. Now you guys can use any ribbon that you like, of course. Um, I just used the beaded ribbon because I thought it was very interesting and you know, I'm always trying to add a little flair to whatever I do. So, um, but they do have ribbon in the sewing department and um, trim, but it's a little bit more expensive. And I'm always trying to find ways to add a little extra to something without adding a lot of dollars. So for me, this was the cheaper way to go or less expensive way to go. Okay guys, now we have seen the method of hanging the clips right from the edge of the fabric. But, I don't always like seeing the little clip. And so I want to show you how I hang my curtains without seeing that clip. So, what I do is I take the fabric you know, once I've measured where I'm going to put the clips, 
um, and I'll show you how I do that in a second. I take the clip and I clip it onto the fabric about an inch from the top of the fabric. And that way, when you turn the fabric over and hang it, you don't see the clip, you just see the ring. And that's how I like to hide my clip. And it just looks a little neater and a little bit more professional. If you go into a curtain shop, or store that sells uh, curtains or uh, custom curtains, you will see, you will not see a clip on the top of the curtain ring. So that's how I like to do it. And it just to me looks neater, but that's a personal choice. So when I decide to put the clips on, how I decide where they're gonna go is I fold my fabric in half Oops, sorry. And then I start at the middle point where the crease, where the fold is, and I place my first clip. And then I go to the ends and place a clip on both ends. It's this one, like I showed you. Okay, and then I go into the center and decide about five to seven inches between the clips and then I place the rest of the clips about, you can see here, about five to seven inches in between each clip. And then I hang them. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I hope this was helpful for someone and please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!